Hey, how is going everyone? Today I'd like to show you how to check from the command line the free space that you have in your storage and also to locate the directories and the files that contains a lot of uh, huge files, all right? So actually to, how to print out the, um, the sides of a directory and also of a single file. All right, to check the free storage that you have, there is a command which is very simple, just df, all right? But as you can see here, it prints you by default some numbers that are not really easy to to read or to understand. So uh, as it happens in many uh, Linux commands, you just you just add dash h so that the sides are printed in a human readable form. Sorry, as you can see now, this is my storage. Okay, my hard disk, which is quite uh, small. So I I always use all these uh, commands to check where where are those files where, where if I can remove something here or something there or maybe if I forgot some direct uh, huge directories or files you know I can just check everything by using DFH and then the other uh, command which is disk usage or du Okay, I actually want to use some other option here. So that's H as before, as I just did here, this is the same. Then I want to add uh, D, which actually gives, gives me, a, let's say, a recursive way to check the directories. So if I tell D and one, it will just check the first directory. Now, in my case, I'm in the home folder. So right now, if I run the command, it will just check the directories in my home folder. It won't go inside a single directory and also check there. Okay, I'm going to show you later and you understand better. Then I'm going to add a threshold and I'm going to tell to check just for the directories and files above five gigs five gigabytes all right that's it as you can see it prints me those directories and those are uh, the directories which contains more than five gigs of space as you can see here dolphin emu i have 11 gigs here local 53 wine prefix where i install my uh, wine games steam or gog whatever 138 gigs and right now if I had two here, it actually will check inside those directories to see uh, if which directories inside some directories contains more than five gigs. As you can see here, in one prefix, for example, 16 gigs for fear and six for cryostasis, 28 for red orchestra and so on. I can go on and add the uh, How's, how many level as I wish, for example, I'll go with 10 and I set to 10 gigs. As you can see here, it tells me exactly where all these gigabytes are. For example, I know that, as I saw before, wine prefix contains a lot of files, a lot of huge files. But for example, here in fear, okay, extraction point, I know that it's 18 gigs. But all those 18 gigs, actually it's 17 gigs, but almost of all the files at the end are inside the so drive C, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Fear. So you can you can actually check uh, uh, precisely where the the huge files are. So if I need to, if for example, there is a directory which contains a lot of files and other directories you can check it very precisely where the huge files are as in here so I don't need to check all the drive C etc the same for the other uh, directories here it's the same and you can actually also add uh, return to one here you can add the A option 
and it will also check the files. So without A, it will just check directories. With A, it, checks, it will check also the files. You know, I have no files bigger than 10 gigs, but if I, for example, go to 4, nope, 3, as you can see here, I have a MP4, which is 3.6 gigs. So as you can see, this is a very um, helpful um, command. It's super fast. I mean, I have a very old uh, HDD hard disk. It's very old, super crappy, super slow. Sometimes it just takes forever to load. But as you can see, it's the, the command is still very fast. So if you have an SSD or whatever, it would be even faster. Okay, so let me try to, yeah. As you can see here, for example, it tells me that Far Cry, this file, FC3 main, it's like three gigs. All right, so if you are, if you need to save space or just you want to clean, uh, you have uh, an hard disk, you can just put the hard disk with a USB or the SATA cable, whatever, you can just check it super easily with this command. And if you need to remove some files, maybe old files that you, you don't need anymore, you can just use this command. As you can see, it's very simple. It's very intuitive also. And that's it. All right. Hope it was helpful. Actually, I'll, I will write a post in my blog. And I'll see you in the next time, guys. Bye-bye.